So what are we doing for this? Well, I'm getting ready for this video, so uh... Hello, Hype Fan... Huh? Hype Train? Hype bit. Train fans! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> See, I'm not Wait the one up. doing the intro for once! Yes! Yeah. I think that was the whole point of me saying that in the first place. Yeah, from now on... Hey, motion. This is why I don't do the intro, because I fuck it up so <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen above the internet, welcome to another episode of Hype Train, where we look at videos and get all excited about them. Yay. So this time, we're taking a look at World of Warcraft, the movie. Ooh. Or... Warcraft. It's just called Warcraft. I'm calling World of Warcraft the movie because that's how people understand the context for it. Yeah. So, any of these MMO fans, do either of these ever play them? Mm -hmm. I yeah. seen plenty of documentaries about people addicted to it, mm -hmm. and I did buy about the first game with three expansion packs. The Battle yeah. Chest. Yeah, and I was determined. I was like, right, I'm gonna get addicted to this. I'm going to. <laughs> but I genuinely couldn't. I, I could not get into it. It's just so. Pain. Yeah. I don't like that whole grindy, 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 grind. Well, I mean. Dragons, orcs, goblins, all that. Oh game. yeah, I, no, that, I don't like that. I'm not a fan, I'm not a huge fan of fantasy either, but I have an addictive personality, so I dropped about four and a half months into this game. Wow, <laughs> holy shit! Yeah, I couldn't get past like four minutes. Yeah, yeah. God, I, I, I dropped I dropped four and a half months of pain monthly for back in the day as well. No, no tutorial or anything. It's just like there you go. Good luck with that. Ooh, I I the, the the most I've ever played of it was maybe like a, a couple of hours, and then life got in the way and I didn't do it. <laughs> life, hey, you Joni, you make a choice. You either choose Warcraft or life. Which is funny because like now it's like I have less of stuff to do and I have the time to do the game. But you don't know but it. I don't <laughs> play it, and I so, do like. And do, do you guys? Do you guys know the basic thing about World of Warcraft as an MMO? It started off as one of those uh, build your base strategy games. I know it takes. It was an RTS. Well. It, was, it started off as an RTS uh, called I'm, Warcraft. I'm gonna stop you. Break it down. RTS. Real-time strategy. Right. Good answer. Okay. <laughs> All right, RTS games uh, are the ones where you like you sit and look at the units and you drag and drop and select a whole bunch of them and go like, you go over there and kill those things. Okay. Or, like so over here and buy, buy more, uh, like gather more supplies. For me, uh, real-time real strategy would be Command & Conquer Red yep. Alert, Red Alert 2. That's one that you know. That's one I know. Warcraft was around, but around before the Command & Conquer series and uh, kind of it went on for a good, there was a good few series, sequel state up to Warcraft 3. Then there was actually kind of like on a uh, expansion in Warcraft 3 changed it a wee bit so you were kind of controlling heroes rather than actually controlling like uh, whole armies and then they kind of got down from being controlling a group of heroes down to one hero and then they just went well this is the invention of the MMO. Yeah see for me it's always been I've always looked at it and thought you're controlling armies or you're controlling a certain person or a certain person controlling armies. No it's you're never, a member of the army. I never knew it was that's where it started out mm -hmm. as like a build a base sort of thing mm -hmm. so for me that this is kind of an opening sort of or an eye opener. So essentially with it being like that, with it being like that overarching thing, it meant that there was a big epic storyline about wars and armies and essentially like taking over territory and stuff, you know, that's basically like a yeah. command and conquer stuff thing. Oh yeah. Now that is actually what Warcraft's about, is actually about that surge of like uh, orcs and monsters coming from one side, taking moving the humans off this land and imps taking over. So this is actually in the same vein of Game of Thrones, it has that Death, there has a lot of history behind it about this interior conflict between orcs and humans and other species and whatever else. This is what Warcraft the movie is kind of like trying to focus on. Not on the one hero who's saving everything, it's more focusing on the, the larger kind of like armies moving across. So it's meant to be political intrigue yep. and whatever that kind of crack. So see if it comes through in this international trailer, okay? Grant. I can't see it coming through in like all that condensed in like just about <clears throat> one or two hours. Yeah, uh, I mean, this is specifically one turning point in the battle. So imagine it's like, do you know that battle at the in Lord of the Rings where they all meet in front of the gates of uh, Mordor and essentially they beat back Sauron and he ends up being put into the fucking tower? That kind of, that bit of yeah. Lord of the Rings. I know I can say no. Okay, so essentially the big one, they sent you, this is all leading <laughs> up to the, the Lord this is all leading up to the big battle, the, the, the battle of Midas Tirith, like the big army there, big army here, and they're going to that, and this is actually all the bits that kind of lead into it, that just kind of like lead to this event happening. So Would this be the kind of movie that assumes you already kind of know the general gist of it? No, it's going to assume you know sweet F.A. You'll get the benefit out of it by, if you did play the games, you'd know who all the characters are before you go into it. But the premise of this is to actually kind of explain how these characters all interact. So it's, it's, it's walking in halfway through a season of Game of Thrones. You can understand the events that are happening in the moment, but you don't know why they're doing it exactly because you don't know the, the back history to the characters. Yeah, well pretty much, I mean, it's a film company, it's a uh, Universal Leg Legacy? Legacy? Um, Legendary. Legendary. Legendary, sorry. Legendary the Theater. Um, who want to obviously make this film based on the game. Um, By Blizzard, which is like the, the main company that's yeah. brought it up. But they, you know, they also want the casual viewer in there, so hence why it's not probably called World of Warcraft. It's probably why it's called Warcraft. 
So you yeah. can dumb that down to the children and the... Well, even, whatever just, whatever. even just the name itself just like implies it's battling. That's what it is. So it's like, the, the, this is actually... It's, 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 for a lot of people, they're going to be annoyed by it being reduced down this way. That are like mega fans and been playing it for the last 14 years. But for anybody else who's not, this is going to be like a good introduction that they can now sell copies of the game off of. Yeah, the back oh, of they're the probably going to, they're going to have the, the expansion for this. War, World of Warcraft, Warcraft. That's the thing, the, the, the events of this have already happened in the game. So this is actually like by, by two expansions back kind of thing. Oh, fair enough. But, or even before that, like I don't know because the timeline because I haven't played it in a long while either. But the, the, the that game took over the world. Like it was like to the point where they made a goddamn South Park episode about it. You know? Love that episode because I knew enough about the game to know it, it funny, but sense. not enough to uh, like. But at that oh, point, that's wrong. at that point, it was the most subscribed game on the fucking planet, and yeah. it has declined since. It's like, it, it's down to the point where it's actually it has comparable others that are actually like taking over its title. Have you ever seen those documentaries though about the people addicted to them? That's <laughs> just so unhealthy. This guy's like just sold every possession in his house, and he's just got a generator on his laptop and just. Sits in his room and pisses in a bucket and stuff. Wow, just, holy like, shit. Yeah, man. Like, I, 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 never, I, never, I never got that bad. I never got really that bad. But honestly, during my last year of university, I dropped six months in an, RP, in an MMORPG and I literally did not move from a couch for like two, three days at a time. Wow. I, I, I was surrounded by spreadsheets I had written down and prepared of all the materials and actually what was the best DPS and attacks and how to actually craft things and what was the roulette system and the gambling system and it was actually like, I was actually gaming the system inside it. I had the, I had the stuff surrounded around me every day, all day for six and a half months. And I, like, guys would, like the guys I was living with would like go out the door, go to work, come back and they would not see me move. I would pass out in the armchair and stayed there all night and got up the next morning and did it again. I did that for six months. I've been I've been on that side of the addiction of, and, and it wasn't even a full MMO, it was actually an action RPG. And like that, that, that side of it, it's hard to dig yourself the fuck out of it. The only reason why I did is because I had a hand in a dissertation. That was it. That's the only me me handling my dissertation That's was the only thing that stopped me from stopped me from staying in that situation. The worst thing about this is this is an actual this is an actual addiction. Holy yeah, shit. proper addiction. What you mean? Just describes an actual addiction. What? Yeah, it's a, a physical addiction, addiction to a game. It's a game I wanted it. I wanted to be that addicted, but mm -hmm. once I started learning about characters called Asgoria, and I was like, no, too many syllables. <laughs> like, can I buy a vowel? Yeah, actually, actually, in fact, I need more consonants. Can I, do you know what? Call Kishik. I need more consonants. Give give me Dave. There's a good tag. <laughs> to be fair, like, I mean, you know, I'm into fantasy, but I... Not, Naming know, conventions are always a bit weird. Yeah, my fantasy is more like, you know, I know, two chicks or whatever. <laughs> you know, this, I'm going to dumb this shit down for the average... If I had a million dollars, I'm the man, I do guy. two chicks at the same time. <laughs> Reference log. Oh, office space, anyone? Dress, yes. Uh, uh, I, I haven't seen the film in ages. Right, so we're going to actually watch the trailer now after me exposing my soul <laughs> and talking about my crippling addiction to fucking video games. Yep, that's not Marcus. So, uh, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Let, 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 it is a horrible thing, but uh, it's not a horrible thing related to this. This could actually be a good movie. We'll find out now. Oh, yeah. Dark forces are upon us. Our world is on the edge of war. It's death to all things. So why are you here? To save our people. We must fight together. For orcs, there is no other life but war. But with the humans' help, there could be. Maybe they come from the door. Yeah, it does feel like kind of like it should be on one of the nine realms. But it does make sense. I do I like. I like. I'm actually liking the design of the orcs. You know what? I'm actually to be serious. I. This could be this year's. You and I. If it's done well, I mean, it does look like it's done well. If it's um, if it does the box office and all that sort of thing, it could be this year's Avatar. Do you know what? Actually, it could could very well be. And it's called The Beginning. So we're probably going to release three films. In there it. we go. <laughs> there is the guarantee. All you had to see was actually the words The Beginning, and that is probably exactly what they're planning. They have at least five. And that's why they're doing a storyline from further back in the expansions. Oh, God, I hope the sequel's called The Expansion. <laughs> Part one. D DLC season. No, they call it Warcraft season pass. <laughs> yeah, that means the movie will stop halfway through. Someone will come out asking for another five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, all right. So, like, like to talk about what's actually in that trailer. The trailer looked good, but it it didn't. I don't feel. To me, it's too. still. It still has that whole The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings vibe to me, yeah. and that's just... Yeah, and, you're, and it's, a, it's like soft or heavy fan, fantasy kind of realm. I stuff. might say it, but at this point, uh, just because of the three Lord of the Rings films... Um, <laughs> you're burned out. The 
burnt. I haven't even seen them. <laughs> I'm not burned out from those three films and the prequel. Oh, uh, um, burned out. I mean, it looks good. It, it looks really fucking good. Hence why I even compared it to Avatar because the technology has come a long way um, since the, see, the, see, the CGI mapping for over the top of actors like the orcs in it look really good actually yeah. like, I mean, that, was, that was something that really worried me for watching these things and like, I, the reason why is like Blizzard do get amazing CGI cutscenes for their games and trying to match up the really amazing CGI from the cutscenes to actual human actors mm. because the the worst thing do you know the worst looking thing in that whole thing is is the armor and the actual human actors on it yeah I thought the armor did you notice that it like, 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 looked at the sword old. I was like but it, it makes sense because it's actually like, it, it, the reason why is like it's uh, it's yeah, kind of making a little yeah back there because like those uh, they look they look too polished they look too clean those the armor like he looks grand he looks fucking yeah whenever he's like in a strider looking gear yeah. and, but whenever they start and fighting they look like their gears too the, clean the like, when saw, like when you saw the uh, X-Wings and Starfighters in the first trilogy and the prequels just so shiny yeah <laughs> they all made it classic I think like the dire wolf there as well though. <laughs> What else has a uh, Jack by Kim Choice? I don't know what he called him. Uh, uh, well, I only know his original name is a wee boy or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? What else has he done director wise? I have no idea, honestly. Did he not do like uh, commercials and. Um... I think he has done a commercial. Yeah. Big yeah. right there where they threw that sword. Yeah. Just like on the two of the Well, yeah, I mean. Shiny, shiny. Maybe context actually was the first time I was thinking from. But I do like the fact that they're mages. Like, that's one of the things, like, I, I was concerned whether or not they're actually going to do the magic right on this. They actually are, they are literally going to have poked guys with staffs. Please remind me of what a mage is. Ma magician? Mage? Well, I'll do that part, but I mean, like, human, whatever. Oh, there would they, be, like, uh, shamans for the orc side and there's mages for the human side. Oh, okay. So that's one of the things about actually, like, doing it with a storyline where it's just the orcs and humans. <clears throat> These are orcs and humans versus a third enemy, which I don't think they've shown in this at all. They didn't show anything now. Yeah. The third enemy, if they're, like, they, these two sides are fighting against each other, but there will be a third enemy because that's essentially where the storyline went. Yep. And the third enemy were like the dark, enemies, dark, dark elves and that kind of shit. The enemies whatever. will unite. Yeah. The enemy, the enemy of my enemy is, is my friend. My friend. So yeah, that was pretty much. Uh, you you guys don't have anything to really think about, otherwise, mm. why? Because like I, I, that looks interesting to me, but it still looks like a CGI cutscene that's f trying to make footage from Command and Conquer. It's in. it's like, but don't you bring down Command and Conquer? <laughs> it looks like, uh, for me, it looks a bit lackbuster. I mean, it it's probably going to be really good and enjoyable, but it just didn't do anything for me. Yeah, the fantasy angle doesn't do anything for me either. So if, it, if this is being like fantasy star, like as in like a sci-fi kind of story that was doing that similar thing, I'd be all on board. But because it's fantasy, it immediately gets me kind of like half disinterested. But because it's Warcraft, I'd give it a try. Like I, I, I honestly don't think I'll see that in the theater. I'll wait until it gets released on digital release afterwards. Yeah, I'll probably totally not see it in the cinema, but totally wait for a digital release of some sort. Yeah, official legal digital release from a source. Yes. Yep. Official source. Mm -hmm. Um, your yeah. thoughts. Well, I just think you've got too much to compete with in terms of a fantasy genre mm. when you consider what's on the but market there, nowadays. There's no, but there's nothing coming out this year for it. It's the only fantasy movie that's really coming out this year for cinemas. No, but I mean, even even in terms of like TV, you've still got like season six of Game of Thrones coming out now. Season, like out there. Uh, Game of Thrones, Vikings. There's uh, some some other new. Yeah, ones but Vi them. Vikings is a, Vikings is a very different thing altogether. And then Black Seals is really quite the same. Yeah, movie. that's the video, video game Black itself. Seals. I mean, people are still loving off likes of The Witcher three and. Uh, See, I'd, honestly, I would love to see somebody try and do a Witcher, Witcher movie. Like, that would be fucking interesting, because just, uh, you'd literally just pick one story out of it and then just do that. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be able to do it with one of the larger overarching plots, because I it would take a couple of well, yeah, movies just to do it. I couldn't see it happening, and if it did, it would happen badly. So I, think, I think, no, I think it's actually, like, in its source country, in its home country. Yeah, it could be. Poland. Yeah. It, well, if they handled it. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if they actually, like, if they, but it would be that's American. what be. Well, I've never played this game, but it sounds like this may work better as a story arc in TV show as opposed to a film. It would just be the budget. Maybe, the budget would have to be insane. And then, and then like, do hey, really, we're talking Game of Thrones esque kind of shit going on. And then maybe do like a film at the end of a couple of seasons or something. To actually finish off a storyline, possibly. Yeah, six seasons in a film. <laughs> that would and that would cover Witcher one. But. Yeah. Didn't even learn their. I mean, they did a reboot. They did the Hitman movie, and then they did a reboot of that, and they just brought back the same writer <laughs> from the they, first one. They didn't learn. They literally did not learn their lesson on that one. But it does. It, it looks all right. So that was Warcraft. Uh, the international trailer just came out this week. I'd say the, the, a lot of uh, it kind of does give a sort of 
I wouldn't say family vibe to it, but I'd say kids will definitely go flock to that there. Yeah, I mean, essentially, like, kids are in the right age range for it, especially if they're actually playing Mists of Pan Pandaria at the moment, or what, what the hell, whatever the hell the new expansion is. Yeah, whatever, 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 kids, whatever kids these days. Yeah. But literally, they introduced Kung Fu Panda to the oh game there about one expansion ago. What? Yeah, the, I'll, explain that, I'll explain that in a whole other video. But I, If we had Mr. T in the game, you didn't need to go any past him. <laughs> we can <laughs> Right. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been another episode of Hype Train, watching the Warcraft trailer, the international one. We'll see how it goes. We still haven't seen enough information to really kind of pull a good decision, but fantasy is not our top cup of tea. So, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Choo-choo the Hype Train. Woo-woo!